Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Wednesday, which means it is time for another Noz Watches Steins Gate. I don't know why I need to take a breath there. I think I think my lungs might be collapsing. Oh no! <laughs> but in the last episode, uh, fucking, I've been I've been calling her the T eight hundred for like in my head. I've been calling her the T-800 in my head the whole time, I forgot what her name is. The T-800 found out about the time machine, so now she's honorary lab member number... five. So now, now Ocarine needs to either find a place to hide her body, or he has to clue her in. And we're get, we're finally getting shit going now. CERN is probably gonna be knocking the door any fucking minute now, and I am curious as to what is going to happen, so let's hurry up and get going in three. Two, one, and go. The right hand holding the gun. I, I'm sorry, what? You just... You just broke the time machine. So we're just gonna skip past... Like, we're just gonna skip past it? Still, like... Like, either she... Even, either she's the Kyle Reese... Or she, or she's the... Or she's... Or she's T-800. Like, I mean, it might... I mean, I guess, like... It, she's probably the most innocent one of the two of the people that are potentially time travelers and she didn't threaten to kill Makise. But... Is that just how people say hello in this universe? Doo -doo -doo. Ah, good, he's gone. Now we can do all the time travel we wish. Put your hand in there, see what happens. They, they're, they're probably all getting... They're probably all getting cancer. Every single one of them just got blasted with freaking cancer beams. Oh boy, alright. God fucking damn it! Is is Doctor is Doctor Pet did Doctor ever sponsor this or what? Like, like am I gonna hit the I'm gonna, am I gonna hit the end and get Grando sponsor this no tekio des ikudashimas and it's gonna have just a big old Doctor Pepper on it. I hope I pronounced that right. But people. You know how loud Ocarine can get. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot about that. She's a weirdo. Though I say that, but Futaba does the exact same thing, and I love Futaba, so... Oh boy. Alright then, calm down there, Jeremy. How are we gonna beat Xana now? As a scientist, it is our duty to fuck with the past. Send a telegram to Hitler. <laughs> hey, don't invade, don't invade France. Don't do it. No, no, you see, no, mate, no, you gotta win the lottery first, you gotta get money so you can... Really? 
If they win the lottery, they can fund more experiments. So you fucking... I, I'm sorry, what is that reference? Oof. Oof. Like... Like, for real, like, this is... This is totally fair. Use your time machine to win the lottery. You can use the funding to, to fund more time machines. I really want to borrow it. No, let me borrow it, though. <laughs> just hand- just handcuff her to yourself. Oh! Friendship. That's how you enslave someone, with friendship. Yes, hang out with the- hang out with the one with the brain problems. But how will they know? Because if they change the past, then don't they stop existing? Either they'll stop existing, or it'll just be an alternate timeline, which means it won't count. They would need to physically go back in time... ...themselves to cash it. Don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch! You fucking bitch. You bitch baby. Oh, that's adorable. I want one. This is the fridge. This is where we keep the bodies before we bury them. Oh, God. Why? Why does she take so many pictures of everything? But how will you know, though? But how will- how would you know? Like, mmm, they're just- just sending a message back in time. That- mm, I, I'm wondering how this is going to backfire. Like, it's not like I want to bone the protagonist or anything, b b baka <laughs> Fucking Daru's got it. He knows. Like... Like, this- just sending the message back. Like, if, if this is multiverse theory, then you're- then this is a waste of time. Because you're being exposed directly to time-enhanced microwaves, you're- and they're at ball height. I hope- I hope the money lets you fucking invent the cure for testicular cancer. No! Oh. oh, no! Oh, no, that's- no, that's one timeline theory. That's one timeline. That- that looked like a timeline shift. To to do Just changed his memories. Three years. They just- no. Wait, did he go back in time? He did. He he changed. 
He changed the past. Wait, so this this is multiverse theory, but when he changes something to do with himself, when he changes something to do for it with himself, he switches he switches timelines. He didn't listen. He didn't listen to himself. Yeah, only he remembers. Only he remembers. Oh no, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. He thought he changed it, but only he remembers. Oh, this is my, this is the fucking best cuz he's just going to look like a crazy person. Hey, best trap. What? Did he, did he do it? Did he win? He did. He changed. He he swapped over. Fucking Oh, okay, alright, so we're go we've got a very special type of time travel going on here. Yeah And she fucked up. And she fucked up. She put the wrong fucking number. But why why did is it because he interacted with himself? There's fucking Dr. Pepper! Oh my fucking god. But why does... But why... But why is he the only one that remembers? Why does he remember in general? Like... Is it because he sent the D-mail? But then, that wouldn't explain before when time changed, unless there was another Ocarine in the future that changed it. But then, that would imply that things happen when they already happen. So, it can't be that. So, it has to be something with Ocarine specifically, which makes him immune to time travel changes. Something, something to do with him makes him immune to it. And I'm hoping they, they, they explain what it is. I, I, I got it. I got it. Nailed it. Something is special about him that makes him immune to the changes. Oh, fuck! Alright, T-800! But we have a multiverse theory. And, and when, and when he, and when, and when he moves, he's the only one that knows. Because if it was, because if it was single timeline, he wouldn't, he would stop existing. At least that's the way I understand it. Especially, especially since with multiverse theory, minor things like that Dr. Pepper thing would actually happen. While... Oh, jeez. Hang on. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll dismantle that. That's what the review part of the end is for. What the fuck am I doing? Pervert gentleman, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Congrats! I've already called Skynet. She's ready to send them to kill you. Oh, Skynet's a dude now. I forgot. Fuck. And he's, and he's Doctor Who. Yeah. Multiverse. This is a modified... It's a multiplied... Uh, modified many worlds theory. Hmm. 
But that means that there's also something else that changed that caused Dr. Pepper to exist on that table. Because you changed the past. So, hmm. Yeah, no, there, there, there's something going on with you, my boy. Something you, something you have done has made you, you made a nasty in the pasty. Oh, Korean, you lack the Delta brainwave, which causes you to be immune to changes in the timeline. This is caused by you being your own grandpa. Time travel. I was doing time travel. What? Is... Is Ocarine on the sex offender registry? What the fuck? God, that's... Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? Never trust children. Never trust children. They will rat you out the second they have a chance. Don't trust them with anything. Oh, uh, that that is that is kind of weird though. Like the the trap. The trap fucking just fucked up the number. I guess they can't really give Ocarina all that money, though, because that just solved his problem, wouldn't it? I mean, he did have cold feet as well, so... Can you... Can you settle on a single fucking name, dude? It's... You, go, oh, Kareem, you know it's hard for me to remember names, you dingus. Why you gotta be a dick about it? That's a long-ass fucking text message. <laughs> uh. Now begin. now begins the ship. Now it begins. Oh shit, here it comes! I'm really sorry if- Oh, it was the trap. I'm sorry that you don't have a billion dollars. Oh jeez. Every text message. I told the cops where you at, that you're doing time crimes. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come back and get it, you moron. Don't, don't lend that man any money, he'll spend it on a horse. God, she, she, she is literally too pure. Like, she is so fucking pure that the purest thing on the planet is just like, nah, man, I'm fucking corrupt. Like, holy shit. Something is going to happen. Like, it's going to be like, Thanos is gonna show up. Thanos is going to show up and she's gonna be like, Oh, Kareen, I don't feel so good. Toot toot toot. She's gonna fade away. It's cause you're a special protagonist, man. Oh, Kareen, I don't feel so good. So congrats, I guess. Congrats, congrats on fucking up the timeline, you dingus.
Well, obviously it's possible. Oh my god, it's the most anime fucking thing ever. You may have this one power that makes you a protagonist. You must now lead the lead the people and become the Hokage of time. The Chronokage. Or Toki. That should be Toki Kage, wouldn't it? Okuri, oh, the the Toki ta, the Toki Kage of the village hidden in the clocks. <laughs> Fuck you, that's funny. Just fucking him wearing a fucking ninja uniform with a headband. Ah, oh, congrats! Now you gotta save the world, you dingus. You gotta save the world, Okuri. Don't fuck it up. All the pressure right on you. Don't fuck it up. You've done it once. You did it once. Really? Really? Have you met our Lord and Savior, Jesus Serene? Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Also, why is everyone- it's, it's 2010, why is everyone using flip phones? Weren't like iPhones ubiquitous by this point? Hang on. You know what? You know what? Fuck it. Let's Google it. Uh, when did smartphones become popular in Jap Japan? And when did that happen? Uh, Japanese mobile phone culture. Control F smartphones. Okay. Okay, so apparently... The Japanese are super hype about cell phones. I honestly don't... It looks like they basically used them the second they came out, but... Alright. When did... I'm just gonna say the iPhone. When did the iPhone come out? When did the iPhone come out? 2007. So yeah, so 2010, everyone should be using a using a, a smartphone by now because iPhone was in 2007. I don't remember when the first Android was, but it couldn't have been much longer after that. The fuck? Like, like I I, I mean, it shouldn't bug me too much, but it's, it's 2010. Why is everyone using a flip phone? Like, when was this written? Because I mean, that's three years after. After smartphones were a thing. Very concerning, but... At least now... At, getting back to the story, at least now we have a we have a good idea about what, what rules we're using. So we're using... Okay, so we're using a multi... A, a many worlds theory, which means the butterfly effect is a thing. Uh, which is good. But also, we have a special mutation, shall we say, in that every time, every time, um, something changes, Ocarine moves with the timeline. He is, he is tied with the main prime timeline, shall we say. He's basically got access to, to fucking Bites the Dust. You know, like, cause that's how, that's how Bites the Dust works in JoJo. Basically, every time, uh, every time Kira used Bites the Dust, he would just abandon, abandon timeline and go back to an earlier point and start a new one. So, alright, so we have, so we have Ocarine with Bites of the Dust, he's jumping between worlds every time he changes something, uh, the trap has dyslexia, so she fuck, so she, I keep wanting to call traps by the gender they appear as, and I know that's probably offensive, so I'm gonna try and call, I'm gonna try and say he, ah, unless he actually is transgender, but that's not a thing that's been said yet, but he's Fucking adorable. God damn it. 
Nobody has the right to be that fucking cute. God, mother, fucking damn it. Um, so, I mean, we've lost it. So he's lost out on some money, which is annoying. Uh, so, and also he's apparently supposed to be Jesus. So I guess that's the guess that's our plot laid out. At some point, there is going to be a a grand one div- percent divergence where everything's going to get fucked up, and Ocarine is going to have to save the day and be Jesus. And Mayuri is is no doubt going to get fucking Thanos at some point. Every episode, she gets more and more pure. Nobody is that pure without having like a fucking. Death Note style like countdown above their head like like fucking Light Yagami looks at her and he sees just like a countdown timer in frigging days he's like oh neat I don't even need to write that in the book that just solve itself ha ah. what was her name again Toot Toru <laughs> uh like I I'm honestly I I'm honestly waiting for it like she's going to just be just just get Thanos to just fade away like Toot Toru and just dust. Dust in his hands. Like, or something just equally as fucked up. Like, oh man. Like, this, like, it's actually starting to pick up now. I think we, I might actually prove myself to be a liar, and I might actually go through and do this whole series. Like, at least until Overlord Season 3 comes out. But then, I mean, I'll just go right back to this afterwards. But Jesus fucking Christ, like, this is a we're really stepping up and like you're starting to see where the roadmap's going. So Ocarine, for some reason, has the ability to jump between timelines whenever he changes something, which nobody else can do, which also kind of makes him look like a crazy person, which he does not help seeing as he is a crazy person to start with. Um, you know what? OK, so I'm going to just I don't I'm not going to remember their names. Because because I'm just bad at names. But the one who communicates through text message, her name is now Kyle Reese. And the temp and the temp in the uh, in the bicycle store, she's gonna be T eight hundred. Okay? Okay. So Kyle Reese is there and I don't know why, because I have no proof, but I feel like she also remembers the jumps. Because she knows far too goddamn much. Like I just get the feeling. She is... She knows. She comes from the future or something like that. She knows. And at the same time, the T-800 is very violent and also very fucking weird. Which makes me think that she's also been sent back in time to keep maybe spy on Ocarine. Maybe kill him if he gets too close to something. Because remember, CERN... Or maybe she was just sent by CERN. Maybe she's not even time travel. Maybe she's just sent by CERN. Because CERN, they can do time travel, but they cannot send organic matter through. Ocarine has a workaround in that he can send emails back in time. So I think that she's been sent by CERN to... She's been sent by CERN to keep an eye on Ocarine. And the fact that she just he hears the word time and she's like, Okay, cool, neat, fun. And she just chill with it. Yeah, I think she's been sent by by them to keep an eye on him. And if he figures out how to do how to do like actual organic matter without turning it into jelly, then she's going to just run in there with a gun and hold him up and be like, "Yep, yeah, no, you're come with me, fucker." And it, and then I think that Kyle Reese is the opposite. She's kind of there to make sure that Ocarine figures it out and then stop the T eight hundred. I think because. Uh, or maybe act as a failsafe so whatever Ocarine figures out when the T-800 comes to fucking murder him, she has all the information she can take it back with her. Because she knew John Titor, at least it seemed like she did. And she's also really trying to get her hands on that IBM. And the IBM is the only thing that can read all that CERN data, which led them to this point. So, yeah, no, that's required. That, is, that, that, data, that data is required reading. So if she gets that data, if something happens to Ocarine, then it's possible she might be able to recreate the experiment if enough pieces survive when the T-800 comes in with a fucking minigun. That's that's my thought on it. But still, I really do, I really do like this, like this series. Like, there's, there's some, 
interesting thoughts happening here, and, and fucking, like, actual time travel theory. The fact that it comes from a visual novel kind of is showing in that Ocarine just has this unexplained, he just has this unexplained, like, special power that reeks of, hey, video game protagonist, but it kind of works here because because there's time travel, you can basically not explain anything until the absolute end, and it will be fine because since it's a time travel story, things can just happen in reverse. So long as they explain it at some point, I'll be happy, but I'm honestly not upset that there's no actual reasoning for it. So, I mean, hey, time travel is a thing that's really easy to fuck up, and so far they've been doing it in a way that's smart. They didn't even give Ocarine the money because human error, which keeps him down in the fuck pits, which means that a lot of a lot of his stuff can just go either unexplained or unfulfilled because he literally does not have the money to do it. So hey, that works. I like that. It's fun. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's, that's what I have to have to say about this episode. Um, Daru needs to stop spending money on prostitutes. I know they're maids, but they essentially serve the same role because Japanese men get very lonely. Um. Yeah, he needs to stop spending money on prostitutes. He needs to stop doing that. It's not it's not good for you. But other than that, I like this episode. I like these characters too. Like they they continue to make me like them, including including uh Ocarine. I'm slowly warming up to him. Though he's going to have to worry about that ball cancer eventually if he keeps using that microwave at ball height with the door off. Also, he needs to buy Mayuri a fucking microwave. God damn it. She is basically funding his fucking lab. He nah. He at least owes her a microwave before she gets Thanos. Oh boy. And everybody. Anyway, that's that's all for me. Let me know what you thought down there in the comments. Whether you agree, disagree, or think my hair looks goofy. And hey, if you really want to help me out, then feel free to share on social media, cause that's good. That's good. And if you like this content, feel free to subscribe as well. If you want to help me out in a way that helps me afford more food. It's not just a big old tray of Oreos. And feel free to support me on Patreon or support me on Tad, both of which link down there in the description. And that also gets you the ability to recommend anime on the priority list, because this was one of those. This is one of those, and special thanks to uh, that person. Thanks to Nanako for recommending this. Anyway, as always, I will see... Why do I keep saying... I? It's It's like really early in the morning for me, so I apologize. Anyway... So, thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video. But most importantly of all, become a trash mammal today. And I will see you a round. -a